Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations where we'll be solving an interesting quartic equation. 3x power 4 minus 20x cube plus 45x square minus 40x plus 12 equal to 0. While solving this problem, I will mainly use algebraic manipulation, quadratic equation, quadratic formula and we'll conclude our result. So let's get started. Let me divide this given equation by x square. As you can see, x is not equal to 0. Once I will put x equal to 0, it will not satisfy our equation. So I can divide by x square Let me divide all the terms of LHS by x square. Now let's write what is left. 3x square minus 20x plus 45 minus 40 over x plus 12 over x square equal to 0. Now I will write 3x square and last term. 12 over x square in one bracket. Then I will write minus 20x minus 40 over x plus 45 equal to 0. Now I can see I will take 3 common out. So it will be left with inside the bracket x square plus what I should write 4 over x square. Here I will take minus 20 common out. What is left? x plus 2 over x plus 45 equal to 0. Now substitution. I will give substitution. So what I am going to consider x plus 2 by x equal to. So I will write let x plus 2 by x equal to suppose t. Okay, uh, so because of x square plus 4 over x square we have to convert. So how it will be? Squaring both sides. So let me write squaring both sides. What I will be having? x square a square plus b square. So 2 over x whole square that means 4 over x square plus 2 times x times 2 over x. So 4 would be there equal to t square. That means x square plus 4 over x square would be t square minus 4. So I am going to put here t square minus 4 minus 20t plus 45 equal to 0. Okay. Let's expand 3t square minus 12 minus 20t plus 45 equal to 0. So I can write 3t square minus 20t then 33 45 minus 12 33 equal to 0. Okay. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation. This is quadratic equation. I will use Splitting of central term or middle term that is also possible because I can see 3 times 33 is 99 and 11 times 9 99 11 plus 9 is 20. So we can use both. So let me write here 3t square minus 20t plus 33 equal to 0. Okay. Now I will split. I won't use formula here minus 90 minus 11 t plus 33 equal to 0. This minus 20 I have split into minus 90 minus 11 t. From first two term I will take 3 t common out. What is left? t minus 3. From last two term, from these two terms I am going to consider minus 11 common. So t minus 3. So ultimately what I am having 3t minus 11 
and t minus 3. So from there we can write 3t minus 11 equal to 0 or t minus 3 equal to 0. Okay. So from first equation we can write t is equal to 11 over 3. From second equation we can write t equal to 3. So these are the values of t from the quartic equation solution point of view. So what, what was the value of t? Let me write here. t was x plus 2 over x. So now we have to solve two equations because this is the value of t. So let me write here, let me write here t equal to x plus 2 over x equal to suppose 11 over 3 I am writing here, this first value. Multiply both sides by x. So now we are going to solve this quadratic equation. So x square plus 2 equal to 11x over 3. Multiply both sides by 3. 3x square minus 11x plus 6 equal to 0. Okay. Now 6 times 3 is 18. And 11 I can write 9 times 2. 9 plus 2 is 11. So let me split minus 11x as minus 9x minus 2x plus 6. Again you can apply quadratic formula. 3x x minus 3 minus 2 common x minus 3 equal to 0. So ultimately it will come out x minus 3 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So x will be equal to 3 and 2 over 3. So two solutions from the first quadratic equation by t equal to 11 by 3. Now we are going to find out what we will get for t equal to 3. So I will consider here x plus 2 over x equal to 3. Multiply both sides by x x square plus 2 equal to 3x. Convert all the term to LHS. Write all the terms to left hand side. So x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. Still that splitting of middle term is possible. Let us apply quadratic formula. Minus b. So 3 plus minus square root b square 9 minus 4ac 8 over 2a. So 2. So 3 plus minus square root 1, 1 over 2. So 4 over 2, so 2, 2 over 2, so 1. This is how we can find out solution by quadratic formula. So there are 4 solutions. Let me write all in one go. 1, 2, 3 and 2 over 3. So these are 4 possible solution of this quartic equation degree 4 polynomial. If you want to verify you can check by putting because all values are integers, fractions, real value. So we can pass value and we can cross examine for verification. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.